Uh, where are the differences between you and uh, Lindsey Graham? The real differences. Uh, there, there are so many. You know, I was I uh, actually co-sponsored the bill to stop common core in South Carolina. We've been fighting that for for quite a while now. I mean, it was a uh, experiment by some uh, leftist folks that put some money into a uh, plan, and I call it a scheme, to try to take over the education system. And it was done very cleverly because it's not actually a federal program, but the federal money's involved. So they put $1.2 billion out there to encourage the uh, state to acquiesce, which is what they often do. Well, they, they say that this is, you know, because there's a lot of governors um, that are, are for this. I mean, Mike Huckabee was the head of the National Governors Association when this happened. Um, and he has now told people, friends, um, David Barton, he has told David Barton that he's, you know, he's against it. Yeah. But then he goes back to the National Governors Association and says, don't abandon this, just change the name and change the approach, but don't abandon this. So there's a lot of people that were, were, were are, are, are for this and, and um, they, you know, they, they, they continue to be for it, even though they are saying that they're small government um, uh, Republicans. Well, Huckabee actually ran ads for Graham in South Carolina and then went back and said they weren't endorsements. Yes. Yeah, we, we played those at one point. Uh, an unbelievable claim. Wait, you sat there and said he was the guy, but that's not an endorsement? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, he's, uh, they're awful. He's awful. So, Lee, what is it that really motivates you? We've had you on before. What really motivates you? I mean, you know, you're a dad. You're, um, how old are you? Like, you're in your 40s, aren't you? I'm 43. You're 43 years old. So, you, you know, you've got your old life ahead of you. Um, what do you, why would you go to Washington, D.C.? I think our republic's on the verge of being lost. Well, now that's crazy talk. Of course, Jonathan Turley said that yesterday. He's Georgetown, actually a liberal. Uh, from Georgetown and a constitutional scholar, and he said yesterday that um, uh, in front of Congress, in front of the Senate hearing, he said that he thought that we were at a constitutional tipping point because of the way the president is um, is behaving and Congress isn't stopping him at all. If we don't send some real constitutional conservatives to Congress into the Senate to fight him these next two years, I don't see how we survive. I mean, we can't have people like Lindsey Graham and John McCain who, who continually roll over and, and want to look rational and reasonable when there's there's no compromise with this guy. I mean, he's you know he, he sat in a church that they didn't say God bless America. And, and he is bent on destroying this country, and we've got to send folks up to Washington they are going to fight him. So, Lee, you said you're, you're against Common Core. Remind us about uh, some of your other uh, stands on, on issues, like immigration, for instance. And, and I have been, uh, you know, we, we've got a bit, we're a nation of laws, and the rest of the world's watching. And if we can't enforce our borders, and if we don't, basically, if somebody's here illegally, I don't know how you reward that behavior. Yeah. I mean, it, it sends a message, and the fact that Lindsey Graham has been tone deaf when it comes to the the view of South Carolinians, I mean, he's more interested in what the, the uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce says versus what South Carolinians say. And I also wanted to touch another subject. I was the lead sponsor on the uh, Obamacare nullification in the Senate. Mm. And now the, the bill that, that passed the House is before the Senate, and we just got an alert that the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce is against it. So well, is that for, Wait, is that for Obamacare? Yes. Yeah, what has happened to the Chamber of Commerce? I really thought the Chamber of Commerce, my dad was the Chamber I think we even raised money at one point for the Chamber of Commerce, didn't we, Stu? They, yeah, we, we definitely talked about that. Yeah, they, uh, they, we there was one. Did. Yeah, there, there was an issue. They we were, did. you know, on the right side of at yeah. one point, right. and they were attacked the, by the president. And they, 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 they were made to look like uh, they were an evil, yeah. um, you know, an evil foreign entity. Right. And we we're like, come on, it's not a foreign entity. No, but it is a progressive shill now, apparently. The, the, the chamber company does the chamber. Go ahead. And big, the line between big government and big business is getting blurred. Mm -hmm. Well, but they always have accused the Republicans of doing that. And I think it's both parties. Well, we, we've got to pull the Republican Party to the right. There's no question about it. I mean, we, we're at one of those moments, you know, Goldwater made the pull, Reagan made the pull, and, and we've got to make the pull. And I, I think if we're not successful, the country as we know it is, is, is gone. So, Lee, who would you say you are most like? Um, uh, who is the one that you're like? Uh, uh, because I, I, I said this yesterday to a candidate. There are three approaches, and maybe you have a different one, but there are three approaches. There is the Rand Paul approach, which is 
Um, I learned from my dad, don't, don't be a third party guy, kind of be inside and work the system and, uh, and, and, you know, and, and try to cure it from the inside. There is Ted Cruz, who is kind of off, you know, on his own as an island. He's just like, I'm just standing with the people, period. And then there's Mike Lee, who is um, saying, I'm going to be quiet. I'm not going to be on the front the stage of the stage. I'm just going to work to um, try to, you know, look at all the levers of power and try to help uh, plan everything. Where do you see yourself? Which one are you more like, or are you, or are you uh, something entirely different? I'm, I'm probably more like Ted Cruz. I would say that I am, I am out front. I've been in the state senate now for six years, and and every major fight I've been out front because I believe it. We have to to have a uh, resurgence in the people's involvement, and I think you're seeing that. Because they're the ones, because a lot of these elected officials, you've got a, a couple of types of Republicans. You've got the ones that, that want to be conservative, they just don't have the courage. And then you've got those that, are, that really aren't anything, they just want to be elected. And if, if Lee Bright beats Lindsey Graham, it will give the ones that don't have enough courage the courage to do the right thing. And then it will scare the ones that don't really have any kind of, I'm trying to think of the right word without attacking them too harshly, but you know they kind of deserve it. But, but they just don't have any any core principles. And, and those we either need to defeat or we need to put, put the fear into them. Um, there is uh, something that uh, David Barton and I are working on um, uh, for uh, parental rights. I don't know if you have seen, I know you're busy and you're on the campaign trail and it, it's not in your state, but um, there is a, uh, a case that we have been on uh, for uh, Justina um, Pelletier. She's this little girl that went and um, went from Tufts University Hospital to uh, Children's Hospital in Boston. The Children's Hospital, the doctor disagreed with what they were saying at Tufts, and then they took the right away from the parents. They took her into state custody because uh, the parents said, no, we don't agree with that. We're taking her back to Tufts. And um, they said, no, you're not taking her. And they took her away on, on, um, uh, and, you know, in the, uh, and put her in state custody. She's been there for a year, and she is, she, she's going to die if she stays there. And uh, it's, it's really a horrible case. And we have been looking into this now for six months, trying to find something that is wrong. And now all of the, the politicians are starting to come to the surface, and the people are. And I think there's going to be real movement on this. But as we do this, we are finding... Uh, we found a case, and it's up on the blaze today, about a, a guy, a family in uh, Alaska, that the same thing happened. And we're seeing it now with Common Core as well, where you're getting pushback. They don't even care about what the parent says. Let me, let me ask you this. We're putting a, um, a bill to protect the rights of parents, and we're asking states to pass this. And basically it says, the liberty of a parent to direct the upbringing, education, and care of the parent's child is a fundamental right. Neither the state nor its agency or locality thereof shall infringe this right without demonstrating that its governmental interest as applied to the person is of the highest order and not otherwise served. And we're trying to um, get something passed in all of the states that's, that but pushes back and draws a line around the house of the family and says, the parents are the parents of children. Is this something that you think um, you would support on what little you know about it and that you could um, uh, try to sell to the, the people of uh, South Carolina as well? Absolutely. That sounds like something the people of South Carolina are ready for. You know, the, the, the state government as well as the federal government is trying to act like that the, the children are the responsibility of the state, and, and that they're the children are the responsibility of the parents. And this is a war we're fighting in South Carolina because the, the state government feels like they know best in every circumstance. Lee Bright, he is running uh, for Lindsey Graham's uh, seat. If you really want to make a difference, uh, you will support Lee Bright. I'm telling you, um, if there's a runoff uh, with uh, Lindsey Graham, everything changes uh, because Lindsey Graham will will lose. There's just oh, no su there's no support for him. And look who's on Fox News right now making his case. A little Lindsey Graham action on Fox. Nice. Yeah, well, we can we can get him a job over there after this is over. <laughs> <laughs>